it, no, it, how did, where am the salmon? Uh, what? Okay, now I'm even more confused. Clarkson. What's wrong? You're acting weird. Sorry, Hattie, I'm fine now. More importantly, do these red seeds come from some kind of plant that grows around this area? I don't know. What do I look like, a botanist? This isn't your average backwoods town. The Clarkson's ego and control has been piercing the town's heart like a massive dinosaur bone. But over this past century, time has been busy eroding the beast's power from within. And now, the very thing that once fortified this town is polluting it with putrid gas and rotten marrow. Zack, this is the point where it all collapses. We're back here? Hello, my fellow gamers? Welcome, welcome, I'm still here. More red seeds. After Lise Clarkson was murdered, her body was put back together here. Just like how Galena's body was dismembered, then rearranged within the holding cell. Lena Doman and PJ's bodies were also blown to pieces in the end. Perhaps that's the nature of the curse that's taken hold of the Clarksons. What do you think, Zack? Is there any significance to these similarities? I don't know. This altar is covered in burn marks, but there's hardly any residue left. There's no way for me to tell what was burned here. I could send it home for analysis, but is that really necessary? It'll just end up giving Abrahams more busy work. I mean, it probably wouldn't more hurt. More importantly, Zach, someone who knew how to manipulate fire was behind all this. So, Lena was here. In other words, these roots prove that Lena was here. And that's enough for me. There's a flat, evenly weighted stone here. I bet we could use this to score an amazing stone skipping record. What? Let's give it a try whenever we get some downtime. For now, we need to focus on this investigation, Zack. I'm so confused. These bridge beams have a very unique shape to them. One straight support in the center, reinforced by V-shaped columns coming up diagonally from the sides. Did this bridge always look like this? Oh well, I'm sure it has nothing to do with this case. Let's move on with the inspection, Zack. I feel like that is relatively important. The growth is all missing from this particular section. It wasn't just cut away. She used fire to burn it out. Everything was planned so meticulously. As if she wanted to show this altar to someone. That's why Chuck ended up discovering it. Zack, this is an ominous sign. Among all the different footprints here are a set made from engineer boots. Yes, I know, I know. He probably only made them when he came to inspect the scene. I'm sure that Patty and I left our own set of prints here, too. But how do you explain the set that's inside the yellow tape? 
Wait, that's the important part? Not the red seeds or anything else? Okay. Hey! FBI! What the hell are you doing back here? Uh. All right, that sounds useful. What? You already solved the case, yeah? So go on! Get your ass out of town! Why do you think I solved the case? Shoot! Exactly how stupid are you, FBI? This is Luke Carre, remember? Every fella in town already knows that Professor Orr's the one behind all this shit. Hey, Chuck. Can you see the altar from there? I'd see the whole damn thing. Along with your stupid ass standing there. Trying to act all smart and shit. <laughs> I like this guy. You told me that the poacher's boat you were chasing disappeared around this area, correct? Yeah, that's what I said, all right. What? You forget already? If you're just gonna waste our tax dollars out here, least you can do is catch them goddamn poachers. Fucking FBI, go and make yourself useful for once in your damn life. Chuck, we don't chase down fishing boats. Unless it's a terrorist boat that plans to overthrow our government, that is. Huh. Then stop acting all leery, like I ain't being truthful or whatever. I'm busy too, you know. So long, FBI. The graffiti in the background is very ominous. I'm just saying. Zack, he just taught us what the true purpose of this altar is. It was built here so that the ritual could be watched from a boat in the bayou. What do you mean? They could have just walked out here. There's no reason why they had to watch it from a boat. The goddess of fertility, Patty. <laughs> oh, our skeleton gentleman's back. There you are. <laughs> the goddess of fertility. A fine name indeed. So much blood has been shed. Yet you remain in this town. Surely. You know why. Of course I do, Hoongan. My work here isn't finished yet. You know, I could really use one of your oracles right now. <laughs> You're more fun than I thought. Here's the oracle you ask for. Listen with your heart. Speak to the 17 comrades who saw the birth of New Orleans. Feel the holy Allah. The giant lady's finger points down toward your goal, the entrance to the forbidden. Poetic and graceful as ever, Hoondan. <laughs> I got nothing. Hoongan's oracles are leading us toward the core of this case. That's the one thing I'm sure of. But don't misunderstand, Zack. I'm not blindly following him. I only follow my intuition. Metaphysical offender profiling. That's all there is to it. There's that word again. The 17 comrades must refer to some area that has 17 of the same thing in it. We may need to use history to figure this one out. After all, we need to find someone or something that saw the birth of New Orleans. Well, I have two thoughts. We can't just round up every last... That's it, Zach. Yeah. The French established the colony of La Nouvelle Orléans in 1718, just about 300 years ago. The only 17 comrades that would have been around back then are the 300-year-old oak trees along this road. A majestic road lined by oak trees. Come on, let's go ask these sages of Lucare for some help on our investigation. That's the only thing we're gonna talk about? Zach, the Holy Allah is a shockingly simple metaphor. 
especially considering the quality of the oracles we've received thus far. It seems as if Hoongan's poetic muse is finally running dry. The great thing about us Americans is that we can recreate our homeland anywhere. Happy to transport crunchy bacon across the deserts of Africa if we need to. That's what it means to be American, and this holy Allah is just another example of that. From the early days of the frontier era, they've been helping us Americans be what we've always meant to be. Hey, Zach, if the holy Allah needs to be filled, things must be dying. Oh, it's the Imagine water tower! I never doubted you, Zach. The holy Allah refers to a water tower. Specifically that water tower, with its Clarkson family crest. It must be hiding some sort of clue. Let's fill the Allah and see what it yields. I'm like sitting there like, that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> well, think about it, it kind of does with the water portion of it. Zach, what do you think the giant lady's finger is? I'm at a loss. I never thought one of Hoongan's childish riddles would force me to think so hard. But, oh well. I'm sure that as we deal with the rest of the Oracle, it'll reveal itself to us. Wh what is there something on my face? Listen carefully, Patricia. As my skilled assistant, I trust you a great deal. So I want you to answer me honestly. Answer what? Do you have any idea where Melvin might have gone? No. He didn't seem to be acting or talking differently than usual? No. I don't think so. Okay. I believe your words. Zach, we have a lot of work to do. It feels like we're finally approaching the climax here. What? Okay, I am baffled, to say the least. So, the main thing we should do right now is something that we talked about last episode, well, two episodes ago. I forgot how many episodes have been. We're going to go back to the pineapple. Maybe. Because yes, we need to go to the water tower. Yes, we need to do the memorial thing. I want to hit up a side quest that I think exists. And I feel like that's what we should lean towards right now. And yes, we have these three. I do need to make a voodoo charm, but I have no idea how to get the things we need. So my theory is, let's go talk to Raven. Their name's Raven, right? They've been talking for here forever. Hey there, boss. What? Smooth bronze kid. We wish was beautiful soft hair. Anything about it for us would be beautiful. Excuse me. There's more than one hot spot out there, you know. All the places can only be gone through here, so try it out when you get the time, boss. Even I can feel it. You almost got this sucker solved, ain't you? I'm sure to do your whole cute old bell body a lot. Not only is he cute, he even got a heart of gold. It just goes to show you can always respect your elders. So you, there is no side quest. Uh. I didn't help. Because I feel like... Yes, I can keep blindly going forward... But I don't think that's the play. But... There may not be another play. Where's, um... No, I was the first time. Hey, my skateboard's 100%. Let's go see if we can get our beats on. We've been in this town for longer than we originally planned, haven't we? Oh no, I'm not complaining. I'm used to living out of a hotel, and I love southern Wait. food. Freak, I'm bad directions. But 
I'm kind of baffled right now. Like, I know there's three side missions. I mean, heck, we're probably only gonna have, like, ten of the, uh, side missions as it is. Or, ten, I'm gonna say stamps. Like, uh, you journal, side, no. this is this just been just messing with it this whole time now it's pretty useless I kind of forget cars exist in this game too but Lena Doman aka Professor R how could such an intelligent person like her suffer such a tragic downfall? It kind of happens all the time, unfortunately. Alright, can we finally... get a be- get- touch the freaking... occult thing? Doth thou seek me? Actually, I do. Verily. I still cannot create any of the necklaces. Can I create a instance? No. Doll? <laughs> Talisman. Boat durability. Boat speed. Fucking thou have. Like, we still cannot use that thing, because we can't find the stuff, which it has to do with the side quest. Or at least that makes sense to me. So... <sighs> Let's see if the Lord hungers. I don't want to move forward yet with the story until we get other things going. Because I feel like we should be... I want to say stronger in this case, but I don't have an exact word for it. So we're going to ask the parent, uh, or well, we can talk to, the fact that the toolbox there does not, pitiful beyond words, an ominous wind blows today. Get the point from this world. Might there be the star target to the incident from the very start? Perhaps my attempt for them to paper all the sins they've committed, thus pitiful indeed. <sighs> I'm kind of at a loss. Like, there's nothing here. There's nothing there. Okay, let's just not do anything else. We'll go to the link board first. That's the link board. Dang it. I keep doing this wrong. So, for the quest currently, us journal. Where's. Alright, for side quests alone, we have done seven, and that's it. We have no idea where quest one is. And that may be a problem. And it just keeps going. Man, I wish I could remember... Oh, it's a TV, isn't it? Yeah. We have 21 of the stamps. Beautification bonus. So we are about 5% of the game done. I'm guessing, yeah, there's gonna be a lot more of those. Red Shadows. I don't know which one those are. 
defeat Galena using hand-to-hand -hand combat. It is the basis of all combat. Only a fool will trust himself with a weapon. Defeat Lena while drunk? So it looks like there's only four, two bosses left. So I'm gonna guess the giant woman and then maybe the goddess of fertility herself. Just a lot of those. Earn the survival bonus. Dual kill. We got our first one the other day. Stench hunters. You have to lose a hundred times? I think this is the flying things in the air. Pay the excessive force fine. Pay the breach of contract fine. Wait a minute! I know what to do. I have an idea what we can do. I know I've spent 20 minutes doing nothing. Something I forgot completely exists. We'll go to the sheriff's department. But Andy, he's missing. Yeah? This has been the most worthless episode I think I've ever done in a game in a long time. However, the one thing we completely just haven't talked about is the bulletin board. Which we haven't even messed with. Defeat one squirrel. We're really good at that. To be an alligator. So I am right. Well, we need a little bit of all of these things. So, we're going to do three of these right here, right now. Order drink. Order a dish. Kill a squirrel. One of these things are not like the other. So, it's like the one thing I haven't touched are these little miscellaneous quests. So, I'm wondering if these are the side quests that I'm actually thinking that they are. Uh, I have no idea the map yet. Ah, I did this again. Northeast. I'm going west. Oh my god, I can't drive these students to skateboard. Why can't I have a car? In Lakari. I don't want to get a boat eventually. That's what I'm understanding. I am going the right way, right? Okay. So I think the play is get food, do these little three side missions, because I need that. You guys have a mission for me? No. Nah. I'll screw off. I get $20 for ordering a meal. Hey, how hard is that? Oh my lord, you sure look sharp today, Mr. York. What? <laughs> oh, coming right up, honey. I'll put my heart and soul into it. I mean, we're not really hungry. We'll get a, uh, beignet. And make 18 bucks. Come, you ain't. Eat or die has been unlocked. So, the question is, am I right? They're free quests. There's a... What? I thought for sure we had something going on. So the free quest. Well, oh, that's probably not even close till night. You know what? 
screw things tonight. Next time on Daily Finition 2, we'll do stuff like we normally do. I'll see you then.